Africa, members of the Senate, of the House of Representatives. Yesterday, December 7, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. The United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. The United States was at peace with that nation and at the solicitation of Japan. Hey, well, good morning, class. We're going to be talking about FDR, FDR's Pearl Harbor address to the nation, which was very motivational and important to our history. FDR was a very inspiring person. Overall, a great president. A nation that destroys its soil destroys itself. Forests are the lungs our land and purifying air and giving fresh strength to our people, FDR once said. Franklin was born on January 30th, 1882, to James Roosevelt and his wife, Sarah Delano, saying, he once said in reminiscing about his childhood, I'm thinking back to the earliest days. I'm impressed by the peaceful and regularity of things, both in respect to place and people. He lived a good and normal childhood. FDR assumed presidency at the death of the Great Depression and helped the American people regain faith and motivation in themselves. He also brought hope as he promised prompt, vigorous action and assorted his inaugural address. He once stated, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. In 1928, he became governor of New York, and four years later, in 1932, he became president of the United States, which was the first of his four th terms. At this time, 13 million unemployed and almost every bank closed. He then proposed the New Deal. This would bring recovery to business and agriculture relief to the unemployed and to those in danger of losing their establishment of the Tennessee Valley Authority. When the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941, Roosevelt directed organization to the nation's manpower and resources for global war. Franklin Delano Roosevelt was a very inspiring person. Overall, although he was con confined in a wheelchair, he gave hope and motivation to our nation. Now that I discussed why we, why we chose FDR. Ke Kelly will discuss the significance of the speech, and then Monica will discuss the communication concept, and last but not least, Christina will discuss why he inspired us. So now Kelly will now discuss the significance of his speech. Franklin Delano Roosevelt brings hope and inspiration to the American people. He gave Americans relief that there was a, um, belief that there is light at the end of the tunnel in this time of despair. He also let them know that we are going to take action. This quote exemplifies that. With confidence in our armed forces, we will gain the inevitable triumph, so help us God. He gave America hope for the future, and most importantly, for generations to come. And now, Monica will take it away with the communication concept. Roosevelt's Pearl Harbor Street. Pearl Harbor speech demonstrates many communication concepts, and one of those concepts is honesty. We're still in conversation with its government and its emperor, looking toward the maintenance of peace in the Pacific. Indeed, one hour after Japanese air squadrons had commenced bombing in the American island of Oahu. The Japanese ambassador to the United States and his colleague delivered to our Secretary of State a formal reply to a recent American message. Japan has therefore undertaken a surprise offensive 
extending throughout the Pacific area. The facts of yesterday and today speak for themselves. As you can see, Roosevelt did not sugarcoat anything. He was very straightforward with the problem that happened the night before and the severity of the event that occurred. His words were filled with both inspiration and hope. An example of that FDR said, no matter how long it may take us to overcome premeditated invasion, the American people in our righteous might will win through absolute victory. No matter how long it may take us to overcome this premeditated invasion, the American people in their righteous might will win through to an absolute victory. With confidence in our armed forces, with the unbounding determination of our people, we will gain the inevitable triumph, so help us God. of what he was saying, and his anger and passion towards the, towards the Curdy fence persuaded the American people to believe in him. As he says, it is your problem, my friends, your problem no less than it is mine, and together we will not fail. Now Christina is going to talk about why Roosevelt inspired us. You may, you may ask why does Roosevelt inspire us? Franklin D. Roosevelt came into Transitioning at the end of the Great Depression, turning Americans negatives to positives with his plans to reform, recovery, and relief. He was passionate, believable, aspiring while speaking, which gave American hope. His ability as a speaker inspires us to be passionate and honest to our audience. Now I'm going to summarize what I just discussed. First, I discussed that Roosevelt gave hope. In the need of uh, the need to, in the time of need to the American people, he showed bravely with dedication or to overcome some of the toughest times in American history. He helped. He also helped to regain faith within themselves. As Roosevelt would say, "This is primarily the bit, the time to speak the truth, the whole truth." Frankly and boldly, our need we shrink from honestly facing conditions in our country. This great nation will endure as it endure, will revive and prosper. So first of all, let me assert my firm beliefs. 